The mountains may be quieter come April, but the snow still matters just as much for its impact on Washington's snowpack. This upcoming storm, um, I'm really excited about actually. Um, so because we are a bit below normal, uh, we'll take whatever we can get at this point. The assistant state climatologist at UW says by April 1st, typically a peak for snowpack, we'd only hit about 80% of our average. It may have been a below average year for snowpack so far, but there's still a good amount of snow in the area. As for what we saw on the roads today, a lot of it wasn't sticking early in the afternoon, but we could really see for comparison the snow that had piled up over the course of the winter compared to the fresh snow that started falling today. Knowing that snow impacts drought and drought fuels fire danger, it raises the question, what can we expect to see heading into fire season? It's likely too early to say for sure. We have to wait and see what our spring and summer weather are going to be like. Um, it, it doesn't seem to play that big of a role for Washington State in particular. There's other parts of the West where it's a bit more meaningful. If we had much lower snowpack at this point in the season, um, that would mean that it would melt sooner. So that would lead to maybe more of a longer fire season or indications that it would be longer than usual. Um, but I'm not really seeing that at this point. Snowpack does, however, help reduce drought. With some basins on the east side of Washington low, every bit helps, meaning many are keeping eyes to the skies. Something else to watch out for, the Northwest Avalanche Center says that there is high avalanche danger in some parts of the Cascades, and they advise not traveling in that high-risk terrain. Live at Snoqualmie Pass, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.